Soon after dawn, men of the Special Task Force Battalion prepare to attack the northern outskirts of Ecotic Kenny. Each man receives just 50 precious rounds of ammunition as the platoon commander briefs his young soldiers. You dash down, you pick your man, you move. You dash down, you pick your man, you move. Are we in away? It will against you here. No weapon of arm or nothing. We haven't got it, but we are going to get this war to the end. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Now, make sure that each time you are moving, that you are moving in the right direction. Another Savior. Holy, 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 Another Savior. Another Savior. Holy, 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 the Biafrans have no artillery to speak of. Their only answer to Nigerian firepower is a homemade rocket. About a mile north of Ikadipeni, we've come under fire from further east. The enemy is still a long way away, although the rifle fire, the light machine gun fire sounds extremely close overhead. Our troops are now pushing forward into Ikadik Penny itself, clearing the enemy as they go. Despite the need to conserve every round, the Biafran troops fire blindly at enemy positions they can scarcely see. are having trouble getting their troops to advance from their forward positions. Most of their bullets are going into the ground ahead. The front line moves forward slowly. Too many NCOs seem to want to lead their men from behind, and the Biafrans have little idea of using what cover there is. Troops have reached their first objective. Now, the ball goes well, they'll press on into Ekadik Penny, round the side of it, and hope to cut the next road down, the road to Uyo. 